Well, another snowy day today. Um, we're out picking hives again. Um, I have my daughter with me today. It's a bring her kid to work day, so I'm giving her a good taste of uh, some, a real miserable day. We're gonna be picking up hives. As you can see, we're getting blown in as more snow falls. Uh, my yards are getting buried, so I gotta hurry the heck up here. Uh, this, my neighbor, helped me uh, yesterday push this yard out so I can at least get into it. Uh, another half foot of snow today they're forecasting with wind so I'm I have a feeling we're gonna be pulling the snowblower out to help get into some of these yards. Um, but we'll just take it as it comes and get these hives in. Winter shed is just about ready to go. <laughs> I think I would have been ready by now but just the way things go and <sighs> like winter's here. So yeah, it's take your kid to work day today. Oh, there's my weirdo dad. Today, we're picking up boxes and putting them down again. It's very interesting work. We got the music playing so we don't get bored. There's my dad, swearing away. He, he's mad that it's snowing. He's a weirdo. Yeah, there he goes, um, picking up the boxes and putting them down again. My job. It's his job. Picking things up, putting them down. Good to miss a day of school today. Good snow. Yeah, there he goes, on and on. Here goes his rent. Yep, I really don't know what to say on the video, but <clears throat> I'm just going to keep talking. You don't have to keep talking. Okay, I don't have to keep talking, but I'm good anyway. Good. That there is a bee truck. Never seen one before. My horse. Although you probably have seen. See, we got a new sticker. See? Yep. self Parts LTV, honey. Ah, we missed an inspection. What? Yeah, look at that. Darn it. Something happened. I don't know what just happened. Somewhere wrong. This means we, the hive needed inspection and we didn't miss it. Oh. So, I'm not sure if they're alive or dead. Oh, they're alive. Look at that cluster. And they live. So, we'll move this to the front. Okay, you're going to need another strap to strap this next row down. Alright, so, see you later folks. Hi everybody. We're gonna do the second video of take my daughter to work day or take a kid to work day or yeah for today we're going to show you how to make a handy dandy beekeeper's knot i just want to show just lori hands. just hands just want to show lori something smart on the day because we've done a lot of not smart stuff today so I just want <laughs> not <laughs> smart yeah i just want to show you something so uh to tie these uh, straps up nice and quick out of the way, easy to access. Watch this. Just take it if you we want to roll it up. Pay attention, guys. Here's a pro at work. You get to this stage and you just bring it around itself. Boom. Boom. And then it's never going to come undone. And then if you want to take it out, then you just take it out. And boom! 
And there you go, folks. And then if you want to put it back together, I'll do it again in slow motion. I teach my kids this almost the first day they show up to the honey farm because we're always fighting these damn straps and tucking them in and not, I don't like knots. So you got to wound up. Through and then around itself. There. I won't come undone. This kind of hangs nice. You can tuck it in there if you want. But no knots. There That's you go, the ladies and gentlemen. Hope that will be helpful for you. Okay, let's go for lunch. Okay, let's go for lunch. So we got a truckload. Loading pad is covered in snow. So Lori is put to work shoveling snow. She's not really working right now. <laughs> work. <laughs> You're on video, get working. I am working. You're going the wrong way. No, I want the snow off the pad. It's going off the pad. No, that's going again. No, take it off the pad. Ah! Okay, there's my dad on his lifter thingy. Hey dad, what's that thing called? Forklift. Forklift. Just taking the honey boxes off the truck and putting them into the shed. So you see I had to shovel all the snow away to that thing get stuck And this whole thing will be full of beehives. So we put them for the winter. It smells like honey in here. Yep, there's my weirdo dad. This, folks, is the life of a beekeeper, picking up boxes and putting them back down again. Just different times of year and for different purposes. <laughs> so basically, that's all he's going to be doing until this, until the truck's empty. So I'm just transferring some of the Saskatraz Queens off a shitty pallet because I lost my runners underneath. I just want to show you something. I just transferred this box over. Look at the size of the clusters are lingering. I'm going to have to tap these guys onto a different pallet because I'm going to waste bees. But I bought these Saskatraz Queens from uh, Ray Oliveras. He sent me two lines. I ran in the blue and he didn't tell me which was what. But this is the blue line not too shabby that's a winter cluster so I'm gonna try to tap these guys onto this pallet 
poor little guys. Hope I don't waste too much of them. So we unloaded these hives and stacked them on the loading pad. Um, there's about four yards here and we haven't got two of them yet with the oxalic acid. So they're just about to go inside and I have Carrie uh, administering some oxalic to them with the ProVap. So it's going a little bit quicker because everything's together. These guys will be put in tonight. These are not liking this at all. And I am going to step back because the fumes are terrible. So, these girls we've put in tonight. We'll get these pails out of the shed. It should empty the shed right out and they should be able to bring everything else in. Fill this place right up.